we're looking yeah. for. Hey friends, welcome to this week's video of Montana Haven, Alaska edition. And you see the shed behind me? Well, we just put a new roof on that. Day three, and we're wrapped up. What we did is we used what's called roof huggers. We put new joists on top of all the other purlins, which raised up the roof about three inches, and then we put an all new roof on it. So we're just wrapping up. Customer's super happy, and we're happy, and uh, it's great. So. Welcome to this week. Hope you guys enjoy it. There's going to be a lot of different things as usual. So come along and enjoy whatever happens. Well, we're gonna go on a walk. It is such a beautiful evening. The sun is out for the first time in a little while. Seems like we gotta take advantage of every sunny opportunity. So we're gonna walk down to what we call our marsh back here and just spend a little bit of time. Look at the trees, they're really turning color. This year they're not quite as yellow, but maybe they'll still get yellow. Well, today we are harvesting our meager supply of potatoes, but we are still grateful for every potato that we got. Last night we got frost for the first time, so you can see these potatoes are completely wilted. <laughs> and these are our strawberries that we planted from our Montana garden, and yes, very grassy and weedy in there. Those are some leftover radishes. There's actually a little bit of lettuce growing here. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't know if it'll make it. Oh, yeah, there's a whole row here, huh? Nice. Wow. And <laughs> over here's the cabbage. Everything got planted really late. It's just how it was, and everything was super wet, so not great looking cabbage, but we got a couple little heads of cabbage. And then all these taters. So we did harvest some already, and we'll see how many we'll get. Hopefully a cup of buckle, a couple pails full is what I'm hoping for. Yes, we got green grass and blue skies today for the first time in a while, it seems like. We got a lot of rain here, and whenever it, it's nice, it, we just really relish it. And the trees are probably really gonna start turning colors now. Yeah, it's just a glorious fall day here. All right, let's start digging, guys. Justin, thrust your shovel in and see what comes up the first. Not too close to the... Why you want to pull that? Hey, hey, just There's what we're looking you. for. Taters, a couple measly potatoes. <laughs> but there's something, yep. something. I think I thought there was more. See if it'll... Try another one. Nope. I'll oh, try to go back a little bit more. There you go. I, I just it's in some Why you want to grab that plant? There you go. Oh, come on. There's got to be some in there somewhere. Yeah, right here. Right, there's another one. Right here. That's a stone. Oh, <laughs> nuts. Wow. Not that many potatoes. All right. Try this guy. This light guy looks fair size. Potato, two. Three. I don't think it was oh. a very good potato no. here in Alaska. One potato, two oh, potato, four. three potato, four. Oh no, not four, just three. Okay, well, at least we're getting something. We Grateful for each one. Raw, dirty potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> just get the chip. Do you want to ask the 
bit of small tater I'm going to just crunch down right here. Mm. Fresh from the garden. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Ethan got a second coat of paint on there, and I like the way it looks. I think it complements it really nice when you're standing back. Well, we were out here walking our woods, and look what Justin got. He got himself a grouse. Very beautiful rough grouse. Oh, that thing is going to be good eating. So awesome. Wild organic meat. It's awesome. Ooh, there's an Arctic char we caught in Big Lake, Alaska. And Priscilla just threw together some delicious goulash. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's tasty. <laughs> and some bear claws that just went into the salad. <laughs> delicious. We're gonna have yeah. some ice cream later. We will, we're, we, I don't know, did we go to ice cream any time this year, like all of us as a family? I don't know that we did actually. I don't know. Did we uh, earlier yeah, um, one time at uh, McCarthy? Oh, but not up here. Yeah, one time on our vacation. So we're gonna have some ice cream tonight. It's gonna be good, so good. Some bear claws that Avalon got mom for her birthday. Yeah. What'd you end up with, girl? Um, <laughs> chocolate chip mint uh, huckleberry. Nice. I got a nice butterscotch dip cone, wearing a winter coat and <laughs> having ice cream. <laughs> There's Wyatt and Chloe's sherbet. And the boys got some shakes or something. Here in Houston, Alaska. What a name for Alaska, it's terrible. Look at that, there's our moose on our property. Yep, right by our drive. There's mom and baby is back there. Very cool. Now, if that was a bull, he'd be called Meatloaf. Oh, another one? Oh, yeah, Mom and Twins. Right there's the other one. Very nice. Stay out of our yard. I don't want hoof prints in my yard. Well, let's see. <laughs> Whoa, Chloe's got some long legs. 
<laughs> funny, funny. Funny girls. <laughs> well, well, it's meat cutting day today. Yesterday, Ethan shot a moose, and I cannot tell you how happy we are for the meat. We are so grateful. We literally have spent a lot of time hunting, sheep hunting, caribou hunting, and moose hunting and we finally finally got a moose i generally consider myself a decent hunter but we were just were not able to get any game so far but it's changed ethan shot a moose but hey i'm gonna post that on a separate video so if you want to see that hunt you're gonna have to jump over and watch a separate video of our moose hunt but today we are actually going to process all this meat uh, we carried this out of the woods last night got home quite late and we're going to cut it all into burger grind it we're gonna make steaks and all kinds of good stuff so it's a beautiful day I decided to do it outside uh, it's simply just gorgeous out here beautiful fall day the colors of the trees are amazing and yeah let's get busy it's time to start cutting some meat we got this afternoon and evening to get it done so hopefully by tonight everything's gonna be in the freezer well we've got a whole crew here cutting up this meat it's just awesome, so awesome. I'm so thankful for all, all this meat for the winter. Just so grateful for it. They were hunting a lot and didn't get anything until now, so awesome. We've got a lot of fish, but I also wanted red meat like this. Well, well, we got all the meat worked up and there are the bones that's all that's left so we got that five gallon bucket of meat this five gallon bucket of meat and then we got a whole bunch of of chunk meat that priscilla is going to can and we made some jerky a bunch of roasts and what else is that it justin uh, all the tenderloin of course yep and steaks so we made a bunch of steaks so ethan is going to vacuum seal that and we're going to grind up the burger so we put the meat through twice first the coarse time through and then we put a use a smaller screen and put it through the second time and then we'll run it through one more time without grinding it just run it through so we can bag it wherever we can find space we make space so we're working on top of the school desks Ethan is getting some help from Wyatt and cousin Mackenzie here. And Ethan, what have you got here? Brisket. There's some brisket right there. Oh, some roast. Oh, this is uh, roast. There's some the tenderloin. Tenderloin. Nice. Oh, jerky. Oh. More jerky. Uh, Back strap, very good. Yep, it'll be it'll be great.
are celebrating because of this moose. Yes, we are. What's on the menu, girl? We have potatoes from our garden. Cabbage from our garden. It's just um, steamed cabbage. And then moose heart and some gravy and some cornbread biscuits. So amazing. Wow. And honey, is that honey from yep, Ron honey. and Sharon's bees? Thank you, Ron. Ron, Sharon have bees. They gave us that honey. It is so good. Fireweed honey, it's just the best. That heart is, moose heart is so good. Mm -hmm. Just yummy. Scylla, what you doing, girl? I'm canning some chunk meat from the moose. I'm going to add a clove of garlic and salt and pepper in each one. And then I'm gonna pressure can it about 90 minutes. And yep, this is just what we call chunk meat. These are the um, basically chunks that we made from the hindquarters of the moose. Yes, this, this I use this in soups, in gravies. Um, yeah, different things. You can use this chunk meat in a lot of different ways. Looks awesome, and we wish we would have made more, but that's just how much we did. I guess we're gonna have to get some deer later and make some more, because we made a lot of roasts and just a lot of burger and a lot of different things, so. Yes, hopefully. Hopefully they're all gonna seal. So yeah, I clean off the rims with some vinegar water so that it takes all the the grease off of it. And then you're gonna pressure can, pressure cook, right? Yeah, pressure can then for 90 minutes. Today we're um, here at a client's place installing some log railing. I actually had brought this railing up from Montana, uh, but I ended up not using it in my front steps. So I just put it on Facebook Marketplace and he called me and said, so I said, I'll come over and install it. Now, these posts, we just went out in the woods and actually cut them down. Uh, they were out in our woods, these posts, but these over here we brought. So we're gonna get that stuff installed right onto here.
really that big in the angle. Oh well. Okay, there's the finished product right there. Front steps for his cabin. Looks good, I think. Turned out just fine. Okay, Wyatt's first time shooting a 20 gauge shotgun. Okay, that's a duck right there, Wyatt. See if you can get that duck. Is it off safe? Nope. Put it off safe. There you go. Okay, put it back tight against your shoulder. You got the duck. Good oh, job. Woo. All right, run up there and see if you can see the duck. You got him, Wyatt. You got him. <laughs> Very nice. Going on a little drive with Chloe driving. <laughs> scary, scary. Well, hey guys, it's a Monday morning and I think I'm gonna throw a couple more days on this video uh, since we're starting a job on a Wednesday and I want that to be on a separate video because it's gonna be building a house. We're going to build a log home up here in Alaska. I think it's gonna be about a three week project, but Justin and I stained that uh, door on the inside. We're gonna give it one more coat tonight and tomorrow we have to get a ton of groceries for the, the job and we gotta get our tool trailer ready and there's a lot to do before we leave, get the RV ready. Um, anyway, so that's what's happening today. And so they're finally yeah, getting get it done. <laughs> late that night. Yeah, kind of late in the evening. But I'm so happy that that's finally getting done because the kitchen just never seemed quite finished. Now I can decorate, do some decorating up there. And I can sleep in peace. <laughs> Yes, he doesn't have to have that in the back of his mind anymore or hear me say, hey, hon, can you please get that done? <laughs> I 
else was here in all my gear. Tap some more. They pushed us around. I just want to say thanks for watching this video. I think we're going to end it here. As you can see, I'm back here. I'm sharpening my chainsaw and all my tools in the trailer are, are getting ready. We basically spent the whole day getting ready for the job. And we're going to be uh, going up there tomorrow and work until Saturday night and then coming home. And then we'll head up there again the following. I think it's going to take about three and a half weeks to do the job, probably. Anyways, it's a beautiful evening. And I just want to say thanks so much for watching this episode and the next episode you're going to watch is going to be starting building the log home uh, here for a client. And I think you guys are going to enjoy that. Probably like three episodes you're going to get of that. So we'll see how that goes. It's going to be Justin, Ethan, myself, and of course, cousin Michael and his son Kendall uh, for the most part. All right. And one more note I want to make, guys, is, uh, you know, we're here in Alaska and in Montana, we have our home open for vacation rental and we do have quite a few openings this fall and the prices are reduced so uh, if you guys want to take a trip to Montana and stay in our home in Montana you can do that you can just click on the link in the description box VRBO or Airbnb and you'll it'll take you right there you guys can see the house and if you choose to stay there we hope you have a wonderful time and we want to thank you in advance but anyways until then God bless and we'll see you next week mm -hmm.